then some more writing stuff. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chloe and today I'm going to be prepping for school. If you don't know me, I am a year 12 student and in Australia that means that I'm in my last year of high school before I move on to university or other education or going to work and stuff. Today I'm just going to be naming my books, unboxing my supplies and putting them in my pencil case. I'm going to create my 2021 folders on my laptop. I've created some but I need to finish creating them. I need to put my tabs in my binder. I'm just going to get started. If you haven't seen my supplies haul video, this is my pencil case and I already had some supplies that I was reusing from last year. So these highlighters, a glue stick, white out, ruler. I also have like two or three books that I'm reusing. So I'm going to start off by naming my books. So I'm going to be using this outline pen to name my books. So I need to name like two. So I'm just going to write my name up here. And then on this book, I'm just going to write my name up here. So I just wrote Chloe Hartley, Maths, Year 12. So these ones, they're already named. So I've got Chloe Hartley up the top. I've got Chloe Hartley there as well. So that is all for naming the exercise books. Now I have to write my name in here. I'm going to unbox all of the stationery that I have. I will just quickly show you guys what I'm unboxing if you haven't seen my school supplies haul. So I just have this Papermate Injury pens, just red, blue, and black. I have these other Papermate Injury pens, but they're in pink, orange, blue, green, and purple. I have these erasable pens. I'm going to have one, and my brother's going to have one. And here's a black set that I'm going to have one of. And then I have these staples. I have this USB and that is all the stationery. stuff into my pencil case for the starters i'm just gonna do one blue one black and then one red with these color pens i'm just gonna do one of each color i'm gonna these in my highlighters purple one pink green blue and then i have my sharpener glue stick ruler so i was pretty few on there and then it just slides right closed so i can go on there and then i'm just gonna write ch on here and then i'm just gonna chuck these scissors in here but now I have to take this tag off of my new pencil case because I bought a new one for design. Because my teacher said that my one was not suitable. So on here I just have my outline pens. And then I just have a bunch of Sharpies. And then my coloured pencils. And some lead pencils. I'm going to put my A4 coloured dividers into my binder. And then I also have some clear sheets under my desk that I'm also going to put in there. So that I can put my extra sheets into this when I'm in class. So they can be organized into subject. And then I'm just going to put them all into here. And then I'm just going to take a bunch of these spare ones, if I can find them, and then put a few of them in each subject. I found all of these papers and stuff that I need for this year, and I also found all of this writing paper, which I put at the very front. Like, if I ever forget my book or something, then I can easily just, like, write with this paper, or if I ever forget my exam paper. So I'm going to organize these into the subjects that they need to go into. For blue, I'm going to do maths. Green is going to be English. And then I'm going to have dance as this colour here. And then in the yellow, I'm going to have design. So that is all for the papers. I just need one for business, which can be this yellow colour. And then I have some sheets in here that need to go in here for business as well.
So I'm going to give you a quick tour of my binder. So here's the paper that I showed you guys before. Here is my math section. This is all my formulas that I need. This is the worksheet that my teacher gave us like in the last week. This is the continuation. I just have some spare sheets and then I have English and then I have some powerful verbs and then some more writing stuff more writing stuff, literacy devices, persuasive techniques, and then just a blank sheet. And then I have dance. This is the exemplar from QCAA. And then this is an example one. And this is the dance concepts and skills. This is like all of them. This is some evaluative words, the elements of dance. And then I have design. This is an A-level example from QCAA again. So yeah, that is all that I have in there for now. And then I'm just gonna keep this office pad in this pocket so that if I ever forget for an exam, I can always come in here and get it. So it is a few days later now and I'm gonna finish prepping for school. So I just have to make all my school photos on my laptop and then i also have to transfer my maths notes from my old book last year to my new book this year because like it works in units and stuff it's really weird so as you can see on my home screen i have these three folders so i'm going to go into 2021 and here i already have dance english and design because i started those subjects last year so in dance i'm going to create unit three and four i'm not going to do it in terms because in year 11 and 12 with the atar system you don't really work in terms i'm going to add unit three Three, and then unit oh i can't spell and then unit four so i'm just gonna put those next to each other and that's all i'm gonna do for that and then for english i'm going to write unit three and then i'm gonna put that in there i'll put all of this in here because that's related to unit three and with the dance stuff i'll put unit three in there and then move these and then in design i will do unit three i've already done one of my unit three assignments which is amazing and then unit so now I'm going to do maths, so 12 maths, 12 media arts. I save a lot of stuff onto my laptop for media arts. And then I have 12 business. I'll just do 12 certificate 3 business. And then with that one, it's kind of different. I'll just do like term 1 to 4. It's not really working in units, it's competency. So I'll do term 1. I just might do semester 1 first, so just term 1 and 2. And then my last subject is personal development, which is barely a subject, but... And then I'll just put term 1 and 2 in here as well. And I just like to align them. Personal development can go down the bottom because that does not count as my subject. So I think that is all the folders. That didn't take very long. Some people make all their folders really cute, but I just make like the ones that go on my home screen cute so that it matches my aesthetic. So that is all for my folders and I'm going to start copying the stuff from my maths book. So that is all of the notes that I had to take. We're doing like this data stuff. I think this turned out really cute. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe either in the corner or under the video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night, evening or morning, whatever time you're watching this. Stay safe and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.